Hi guys, Everyday Knife Guy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this, which is the trilobite or ladder rack paracord bracelet. It's uh, quite a simple, slightly time consuming design, but I think it makes a pretty cool end result. You can see there, this is one that I've almost finished. I'm going to use this to illustrate how I finish off the ends. I'm actually going to use the jig here and show you the actual weave. As you can see, it's spread out there. And I'm going to be using the smaller or standard size paracord buckles for this. I quite like the way that causes it to taper in at the ends. If you don't like that look, by all means uh, use the larger size buckles. And it does make things slightly easier, but as I say, I like the look of this. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I'm using two lengths of uh, 550 paracord, ungutted obviously. It has all the strands inside. And uh, I'm going to be making approximately an 8.5 inch bracelet, which is the size for my wrist. Uh, adjust accordingly, but I would use probably six feet of each color, which should give me a little bit of extra. Um, so 12 feet in total. And I've got a dark green here and a bright green, neon green. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is uh, basically uh, join these together. So let's go ahead and cut the sealed ends off. Like so I'm going to show you this at the beginning of every video, just so anyone who hasn't seen how you would do this. As a chance to learn. So I'm just taking my lighter and just melting the ends of the paracord until it bubbles up. And you don't want it going too crazy but just to the point that it's melted and bubbling. You can see it's smoking a little bit there. Push those together. I'm just going to lick my fingers because this is obviously quite hot because we've just melted it. And then you're just going to squeeze and tamp that together until you make yourself a nice join, something like that. My camera will focus. There you go. Uh, so the next thing we want to do that's going to make this a little bit easier is go to the other ends of our strands and you can see these are just a sort of basic um, sealed end, they've been melted slightly. I'm just going to trim those off. You don't have to do this but it does make things a little bit easier. And I'm actually just going to melt these one at a time and I'm going to lick my fingers and then just flatten them so you end up with a, a flat end on it like that. You can see there it's much thinner than the standard uh, sealed burnt end. And uh, that's just going to make things a little bit easier when it comes to feeding through the buckles. And this is more for a design like this where we have four core strands rather than two. Normally it's not so much of an issue, there's plenty of space to feed through the buckles. But on this one, it's a little easier if they're flat like that. So that's what we have to start with. Um, first thing we're going to want to do is basically attach to the top buckle. Uh, make a lark's head uh, hitch knot on there. So we'll just make a loop in your cord like so, using the darker colour preferably. I'm actually going to turn that over and go with the... Uh, which way do I want to do this? No, I'm going to keep the keep the light cord on the right, I think, for this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a loop like that. I'm going to come up through this buckle. So feed your loop up through there. Okay. Then you're going to take your two strands from underneath and pass them through that loop. Just feed them through, so we're basically creating a simple hitch knot on there. And then just feed through your cord and reposition them so that the joint between the two colours is maybe an inch or so at least from the actual buckle. So it's within the bracelet, keeps things a bit stronger. Um, then we're going to take the other ends of our cord, let's back up here a little bit, and we are going to come up through the bottom buckle here. So we'll come up through, and up through, and just pull, pull all that slack through. And lastly, let's take the ends here, and we're going to go down through this buckle here. Now as you can see there's already cords in here so things are getting a little snug, and that's where flattening the ends comes into play because it makes this a whole lot easier. Trust me, that is not nearly as easy to feed through a, a regular thickness end that's just been sealed with a lighter. Flat end again, through there on the left, make sure your cords aren't crossed over or anything. That's it, and you can try and squeeze this lark's head knot in a little bit so that your cords are positioned kind of side by side like that, but obviously they'll bunch up at the ends because this is quite narrow. But you should have something that looks uh, approximately like that. So those should be your four cords. You should have bright green, your joint cord, and then two dark green. So I would just refer to them as green, but if you're using a bright colour and a dark colour, obviously just substitute in your own head what you're doing. So with this weave, we're going to start from the left every time. So take the left hand end of your paracord, and we're going to go over the first strand, 
under the two middle strands, back up and over the right. So we're going over, under, under, over. Just leave yourself a bit of a loop there. We're going to take our right hand strand and we're going to come up under the right hand strand, over the two middle and also over this strand that we just put through previously. So we're coming down below that, so we're coming above it, up and under, over the two middle, and then down through before the last one on the left. We'll pull that all tight. Okay, now things will be a little bit loose at the moment until we do another couple of stitches. Start from the left again, as always, over the first one, under the two middle, over the right. Take your right one, under the first one, over the two middle, under the left, and make sure that's below the first bright green strand. And as you sense it up, we just need to push everything up to the top, like so. So I'm going to throw in a couple more stitches here. I'm aware this video is already getting to be a little bit longer than I'd hoped, but it is a bit more of a time consuming bracelet. So I'm going to come under the right, over the two middle, under the left. Once you get into the just weaving away with this stitch, it's it's not hard at all. It's just a you know it's a fairly easy stitch, but it does take a little bit of while to generate a length with this bracelet. So just bear that in mind. I'm talking here, not really concentrating on what I'm doing. I nearly did a wrong stitch there. So there, you can hopefully already see the pattern forming. So you should have bright layer, dark layer, bright layer. And if we take the one I already did here. You can see all the colors are different, exactly the same pattern forming. We have the large, um, kind of the, the lark's head knot in the dark color with uh, another strand on the side and then you get your single bright strand and then starting off in this pattern. So just keep repeating that weave, I'll show you one more stitch, always starting from the left, over the first one, under the two middle core strands, over the right one, to your right hand cord, under the right hand strand, over the two middle, Make sure you're below the cross piece of the left hand cord and then under the left. Simple as that. Pull it up and with each stitch make sure as you tighten it you push it up so it snugs neatly below the level above. So there you go. That's as simple as that. That's the, the technique. I'll show you how we finish this one. Um, at the end here you can see we have a dark cord coming out the top and we have the bright cord coming out to the side. I think the neatest way to finish this would actually be to take this dark cord underneath this dark loop here as well and then just basically seal them off there. So you can see we have a small gap there. There's a very small gap and I didn't actually flatten the ends on this one so I'm not following my own advice but these are normal size. So what we want to do is get the dark one through there. The easiest way to do that is take a pair of needle nose pliers and we're going to go through that small gap from the bottom. So hopefully you can see there that's coming up through at the end of this cord, pull it through there. So now we have both of those cords coming down underneath this right hand loop in the dark green and they're both there in the bottom. Now all I need to do is uh, just trim that off. So we'll leave ourselves a little bit of slack there. Get myself something uh, metal and uh, I don't mind getting burned. That's just to tamp down the ends of these. I've left these slightly long, but it'll do for the illustration purposes. Get those melted. And then just give them a squeeze down with your metal there. So we have a little join there. It's not my neatest, but it'll do. And uh, that basically seals everything together. It's not coming out. Snap it back up. And there you have it, that's the trilobite or ladder rack bracelet, quite a nice design I think. And uh, hopefully that was easy enough to follow, if you have any feedback or questions or you get stuck please let me know in the comments, I'm always happy to help. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.